hello friend welcome back in your previous video i have already discussed about that things with you how can show some of the validation message so here we successfully did that work so now i want to do i want to work with our text area so text area is also very much important thing so when you write any kinds of bulk amount of text then it will be very much important one of the things right so in our all the previous video i have already added some of the input field value how can I add some of the input field values so right now i want to do i want to work for our text area okay so how can working with this text area into the react chess so i want to share with you so right now mm, like that is our prevent so here we don't need our if condition i just simply remove it and also we don't need that validation that means the validate i have already discussed about that things with you here also we don't need this okay i just i only want to do i want to take as a email field another will be as a text area and for the text area i just name it one of the property as a details okay i just name it as a details and also that is our email field so here we don't need any validation so i just simply remove it and then that is our level so into the level area i just want to do and to make the things as a detail okay so that will be as a details so then that is our input field so right now we don't need this bracket and also we don't need this input field right that is our submit button so into the that is actually the level as a detail so here i want to do i want to add one of the text area so if you want to use that text area it's very much common one of the code as a text you can see that is actually already added on here that is our text area so now i want to do i want to add one of the text area and also here if you want to put some of the placeholder that means some of the text if you want to visible into the text area then you can also visible it on here i just name it as a write okay write on here so this type of one of the text it should be visible so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i just click as a save all now refresh it yeah you can see there is a clever email field and there is our details level and that is our text area so here you can actually add multiple text as per your demand perfect so previously i have already added that input field that means here whenever i put any kinds of email address automatically show some of the value on here right so now i also want to add some of the value for our details that means whatever the things we'll write down on here it will be visible that means it will be show that value so how can display this value in react.js for the text area I want to show you that things in this video for doing this like there is a clever text area right so after that better here I want to show that message so if you want to show that message I just take one of the h6 okay I just take one of the h6 and here I want to do I want to visible it so if you want to visible it I think friend now it should be already know about it because of all here I want to display our TC states and that is our details right so now I want to show that property that means if you want to access that stage then first of all you have to add that these and then states right so that is our these states and then our property name i have created as a details so i just simply pass it and now uh, before we actually add that things in our on charge so into the on charge area i pass that event and then our set states with our email event and the target value so it should be just like that same friend so now i also for our text area i want to do and there is our text area first of all i take one of the on charts so as i told you friend everything is basic but very much important one of the core part okay so here i just simply added first of all that will be our event so i just take as event or e or event whatever you want so i just name it as event better and then also i created one of the function so that means here i want to do I want to add it our function as a set states right that is actually one of the building method as i told you a lot of the time when you pass some of the value to the states then you can do that work with using that set states method right so if you want to access it first of all you have to use that this and then set states so with this set states first of all here what exactly you have to do you have to pass your property name so i have already created one of the property as i told you friend everything is just like that same you can see so now that is a clear property so i have created the property as a details so now i just simply pass that our property as a details right and after that that is actually our value right so that is actually our value so right now i also want to do the same things that is our property and then our value in our event that means into the event and here that is our target and sorry 
so that is our target and into the target that is our value so i just simply pass that value okay so i just simply pass that value so that is our event so that is our event target value and that is our property so that is our um, set that means the set stage methods if you already all understand about it now i think they have no doubt about that part to you right so now also here i simply displayed our this stage details because of all for, with our this he said states i just pass our value to our which position in our states and that is our details property area so into the details properties i want to actually display that message that means with this states and that is our property name now click as a save all now refresh this page so now there have some of the default placeholders so now you can see whatever the things we'll put on here into the e details area okay now you can see it's not perfectly display that value i hope you can well understand about it friend that means here we actually get all that our value so literally we'll actually get all the data that with this value we have to pass it to the database so friend as i told you that's all that basic things but it's very much important and interactive all the functionality that is actually the main core functionality if you already understand it if you already practice it then everything we'll use in our project so believe me if you go through with the step-by-step -step process and if you capture every part very seriously everything will be very much easy to you so trust me and go ahead with the lectures so in the next video i want to discuss about another things as a select option so how can working how that means how can pass some of the value from the select option in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video